Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome to the weekly vlog. I'm Valerie. If you're new here, I am Valerie. Welcome to Royalty Brains. And um, what I'm doing, because we're about to get right into the vlog, y'all. Let's get right into the vlog. I'm trying to get back into the swing of things, like with the weekly vlog, the weekend vlog, Sunday fun day. Um, so in an effort to do that we are actually back in real time y'all so um i've had these braids in for a month i know y'all just seen the vlog but these braids where i got these in probably like last week i posted that vlog when i went and got these braids in atlanta it's time for these to come out they've been in my head for a month and i am getting my hair redone so I'm going to use, I have somewhere to go, um, like, it just happened last minute, unfortunately, it's an unfortunate event, so I really don't have time to, like, order hair, what is this, I don't have no time, what is all these bugs on my, all these bugs on my, um, y'all see my basil? I see my basil plant is thing grew it's an update on my on my herb garden only thing grew was the basil and i think it's because i put some fertilizer in it and over fertilized the garden and you know when you do that it's just not a good look but back to my um what i was saying y'all i have to get my hair done so i'm gonna reuse some bundles since i have them but i'm gonna color the bundles um I'm about to, it, you know, it's that season. It's the season. I have this from when I put a rinse in my hair before, like probably like a year ago. I put, I did it on camera, y'all. It was like when I was, <laughs> it's called something. I was being messy in that vlog. So I'm going to use this second bottle of this and I'm going to color this hair, y'all. All this hair, I'm about to color. This is like probably like four bundles of hair. I'm about to color it because I'm going to get a pronto. Or oh, y'all might know it as a quick weave, but I'm using this box color right here. And then I'm going to put, I'm going to put this rinse in there. I don't know if you can do that, but I'm getting ready to do it. And we're going to see how it turns out. So let it go. so i have finished color well i haven't finished coloring the hair but i put all of it into a pot with the rest of the rinse 
So let me let y'all see. This is how it's looking. You know how the girls have been putting the hair color in hot water? And then, where's the spatula at? Putting it in hot water and then letting it like color the hair like that. That's what I'm doing because I don't, I guess I'm tie-dyeing my hair. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing, y'all, but it looks like the color's transferring. So while that's happening, it's, I have to rinse that off. While that's happening, I am going to take my hair down. Where the scissors at? I'm about to take my hair down because, yeah, it's late. Um, I was going to take my hair down yesterday, but I was editing a vlog for y'all. It was like an hour long vlog. So I didn't, by the time I got done editing the vlog, I was like mad tired. Um, and by the time I got done editing the vlog and then relaxing and trying to go to sleep, I was, it was just really tiring. So I didn't take it down yesterday. So I'm going to have to take hi. it down today. You want to say hi, mommy? Hi. <laughs> say hi. Oh, you blew a kiss. Oh, don't be giving away my kisses. Daddy. You crazy. Daddy. Yes. Um, I got my bag. I got the scissors and I'm about to sit on the couch and watch um y'all i was watching that jeffrey dahmer <laughs> have y'all watched that jeffrey dahmer um docu is it a documentary what do you call it because like where are they getting this information from it's just beyond me that these people don't be knowing that um somebody's being killed in the basement or being killed in the house like Y'all don't be knowing that? Like, I wish I was in here chopping up bodies and I smell something stinking. Like, not the call the authorities because what is that smell? First of all, what is that smell? Like, find somebody to play with. That grandma knew that he was in there killing people and she ain't say nothing. So she need to go to jail too. I don't care if she got dementia or not. But yeah, I'm about to watch. Oh no, I'm not about to watch that right now. I'm about to go on Hulu and watch um, the new episode of uh, The Handmaid's Tale. Because that's been my show for a minute. So y'all know the new season came out. I'm about to watch that and take these braids down while that hair soaks. Y'all, did y'all see I got the stuff out of storage? I need to let... I'm going to let y'all see like... I don't know. I'll let y'all see how the living room and stuff is looking right now. Hold on. I got like this little stool. I I'm, I need to get like a end table. I just haven't seen one that I like. Um, and this little lamp or whatever just will go on the end table. But this is how the place is looking when I got, since I got my stuff out of storage thus far. I still have to like put some stuff up. But where she got her bike and her, she got her stuff in here. But yeah, the place is coming together, you know. It it does look a little bit different in here. But let me go ahead and take my hair down while I watch um the handmaid's tale. Potato. You got a potato? Yeah. I took my braids out. I didn't literally didn't get my braids out until like twelve o'clock last night. But um I did finish coloring the hair. Like it came out pretty decent. I'm gonna let y'all see before. I have like four bundles. Hi. I'm going to see. Hi. Mm -hmm. Four bundles, y'all. Two of them are new and two of them are, like, old that I'm reusing. When I had that blonde hair in or that, like, burgundy hair, I put a, the rinse over it. So this is the old hair. And then this is the new hair. The new hair is a little bit darker. So I'm about to get it. Um, I'm waiting on a stylist, but I'm about to get it quickly. I'm about to put my hair back up. Actually, I'm glad I pulled the camera out right now, so y'all, I can get like, you know, document how my hair is looking right now. This is how it's looking since the big chop. It's giving, giving braid out realness, but yeah, y'all. Mm. I'm about to go ahead and get this hair did. Hair did. And if I have enough time, like, between today and tomorrow, I have to figure out, get some other stuff taken care of. <laughs> but, yeah. Y'all, 
Y'all, some smell good. I don't know what somebody cooking, but it smells good. Anyway, it's the next day, y'all. And I know y'all probably like, girl, did you say you was gonna get your hair done the last time we talked? It's a whole story, y'all. I ain't even about to get into it. I'm gonna tell y'all about it. I'm about to go have, we're gonna um, meet up with my sister and have lunch at the um, Pizza Hut buffet. She wanna go to the Pizza Hut buffet, so. I guess I'm gonna go there. Get in the car, but I wanted to show y'all. I came up to Super Bands because they had, huh? What'd you say? A uh, discount fashion warehouse? No, I don't like stuff like that. Oh. Is that stuff cheap, or is it like fake fubu and stuff? I don't know. I don't wear that type of stuff. Get in the car. I just said that. I was like, some smell good. Somebody cooking some onions and peppers. They putting some soul in that food. But um. Uh, I wanted to show y'all. I I went to Super Bands to get some stuff, but they ain't had what I wanted. Well, they people ran in and got it out. Y'all, look what I got. I'm gonna show y'all later. I got this massage thing, a percussion massager. But I'm gonna give it away for a uh, Secret Santa. Our Secret Santa that we be having at work, they be like uh, spend twenty dollars or less. But I'll be at Super Bands. This is like a three hundred dollar gift. Whoever whoever I get. For Secret Santa, they gonna be happy. They gonna be excited. And then I got a TV mount to mount the TV on the wall. Even though I don't know if that's what I'm gonna do, but I did. Wait, what size TV does it go up to? Up to 50 inch? I actually seen a 50 inch TV. I, bought a t I got a TV mount. Everything was $8 today, y'all. I got a TV mount. I got that massager for Secret Santa. Then I got this for my desk. I got an oil diffuser for my desk. And then they had this hot comb. My sister found this hot comb. This Con Air hot comb. It's real cute. It looks really nice. So I'm going to throw away the old hot comb that I have. That one, I bought one to go on the stove, but that one's kind of hard to control the temperature. But my desk is like black. I got like a kind of a black and beige wood aesthetic going on so this was eight dollars this oil diffuser i got this i spent forty dollars and then i got a comforter well like something to go on my bed <clears throat> i got that too so i'm really excited about my christmas gift that i got whoever i don't know who's gonna get that but they gonna be so lucky so yeah, let me, um, I'm gonna talk to y'all when I get to Pizza Hut. You got a pickle world team? Y'all, I ain't been to a uh, Pizza Hut or you can eat buffet in a long time. What she just bring out right there? Look it looks different. Go see what that is. It looks like the cheese ain't melted. What kind of pizza is that? Anyways, I got fresh pepperoni pizza. And I got a salad. I don't know. Is it a taco pizza? I got a salad. Yeah, we used to come here for field trips. Or did mommy used to take us here? When Somebody we lived in Parma? Used we used to come a lot, to come here. It's cool, it's like $8 or something and then kids eat free. So Ruti, Ruti's free, I guess. Right. You doing okay here? Is Target next to here? Now I want to go out of my way to go out of, to go to Target. Oh, uh, that'll be backtracking. I might go over. I wonder yeah. if that big lots might have any. Hey, you ain't want to tip that lady. You wasn't gonna. You was talking about oh. <laughs> and the best part is, hey, hey my sister ain't want to tip them people inside. Hey, guess what I told you? At the all you can eat buffet. Guess what I told them when I signed the um. Uh, when I signed the receipt, I put no tip, and I said your tip is on the table. You ain't leave her no I know. tip. That's why I left. I smiled at you, but you ain't catch it. I left the lady a tip. 
She was talking about, uh, we sat down to eat. She was like, the best part about the all uh, you can eat buffet is you ain't even got to tip them. I, and I, I gave her a look like, I was looking like, you ain't about to tip these people. She was talking about, so why are you looking at me like that? Like, because you're supposed to tip any service. Any service you get, you tip. Something wrong with that girl, y'all. I knew she wasn't going to tip. I threw a tip on the table. They don't really... It is a all-you-can-eat buffet type thing, but... I seen that them ladies was actually working. They was, like, going to get drinks and, you know, switching out the pizza. The pizza was fresh. So I was like, let me go ahead on and tip these people. But I need to get royalty some tights. She needs some black tights because it's a little chilly. Then I got to go home and do my own hair, y'all. Once I get to the house, I'm about to tell y'all the whole situation about the hair. Because I literally just took an Advil. Aleve. I think I took the Aleve because I've been drinking a lot of wine lately. And i um been drinking a lot of Starbucks. So I think I might be a little dehydrated. So I've been drinking water. Water and Powerade all morning. But yeah, I got to give y'all the man. When I tell you, I'm going to tell y'all. All right, y'all, so I'm back at home and I didn't took my hair out of the, out of that ponytail, but shit, y'all. I gotta tell y'all what happened yesterday. Let me put these roses away. They've been sitting out and royalty been tearing them up. Um, somebody, you know, when you have a death in the family, people send flowers and stuff, so. Um, I gotta put these flowers away. But um yeah, y'all. So I start the vlog. I pull up one time. I start the vlog and I'm just waiting for her. The uh hairstylist. I'm like, where's the hairstylist? I'm just waiting for the hairstylist. The hairstylist never she wasn't even in the building, but her suite was open. So I'm like, she gotta be here because if she wasn't here. Her suite would be closed. So I'm just waiting. I'm just waiting. Like, and then 15 minutes after I waited, I went and asked the other stylist that was working, where is Raquel at? I'm like, where is so-and-so at? She was like, oh, um, girl, y'all, she can tore these roses up. It's okay. But anyway, I already clipped the ends. And last time. I used the flower food and the roses actually lasted or the flowers that we had had lasted for a while so I'm gonna go ahead on and use the flower food but I was like where is Raquel at and it was like she around here somewhere she was here um she probably just outside or somewhere I was like okay so I sat there and waited I was like I'm just gonna wait because I have something to do you know, this weekend, I have stuff coming up and my hair has to be done. So I'll just wait a few seconds, no big deal. And she normally, this girl has done my hair a few other times and she's not a bad stylist, but she don't, she, you know, she's not a bad stylist. <laughs> Y'all, the reason why I ain't come back on the vlog last night because I was hesitant about if I was going to say anything because I've been really, here, do you want this? Cause you didn't tore this one up too. You can have it. I don't know where piggies at. Put that money inside your piggy bank. But yeah, I've been like hesitant on like, do I want to say stuff about people? Because, you know. But it is what it is. Like, if people wanted you to write warmly about them, then they should have treated you better. Like, in my opinion, like everybody's not going to have kind words to what this one's dead. that one's not dead that one is broke because you you keep on shaking them up you're not getting another one you broke all of them play with that broken one figure out how to play with it here let me see it all you gotta do like this and then put it in your hair see put it in my hair. yeah it's beautiful or what do you want to do with it go play with it go take your jacket off i'm in the house but yeah, if people wanted you to write warmly about them, they wanted me to talk kindly and speak highly of them, then they should, they their actions should reflect that. So I'm sitting there for a whole, almost 45 minutes, and I was like, I'm about to leave. 
So I decided to go on the girl's Instagram. I go on her Instagram. She is at a bar taking wow. shots, celebrating somebody's birthday. This is a whole professional wow. hairstylist. Website, Instagram, professional Instagram page. This is this is somebody's job. She then took an appointment, mind you, y'all. I told I I DM'd her and was like Hey, I see that you have, because it was last minute too, because y'all know I had them braids in, but my uncle passed, just FYI. I don't know if y'all know. I know my ex, my ex fiance. I don't know where it's at, royalty. I know my ex fiance just passed away, but now, um, so my ex fiance passed away August 30th, and then we went to his funeral um, September 17th. And then that was on Saturday the 17th. And then um, the 18th, the 19th, I don't know. But on I think on the 19th, anyway, my uncle died that Monday. So the, the day that we were flying in from my ex's funeral, my ex-fiance funeral, the day we were flying in, my I called my mom and she said my uncle had passed away. But he was already in hospice when we were like on the way down to Georgia. Um, so yeah, he ended up having a stroke. Um, he, he was battling hypertension and he had a stroke and a brain aneurysm. And so he ended up passing away. And so we're going to his funeral. I may vlog a little bit. It just depends on the vibe or whatever. Um, but yeah, that's what we're preparing for right now. So I'm like, I messaged her, I DM her and was like, Hey, I am, um, I got a funeral to go to. Do you think, and I see, I was like, I got a friend of to go to. I see that you have an evening appointment. Do you, um, like, I see that it's available, but I already know how these stylists be. So I was like, do you, is it, is it okay for me to book? I'm just double checking before I book. And she messaged me back like, yeah, Thursday is open. And I shouldn't have booked when she just messaged me back, yeah, Thursday is open. Because first of all, she didn't say, sorry for your loss. My condolences, nothing. She just responded with, yeah, Thursday is open. Like, did you? <laughs> Which is so inconsiderate. But I ignored it because she is typically not like that. Like, my experience with her, she has been very sweet, very professional. It's just this one time. And it only takes one time. It only takes one time. I don't know if it's because I'm older now, but it only takes one good time to do something weird and goodbye. Um, I need to throw this away, y'all. I had this since last, when does it expire? Since last Christmas. Y'all remember this? I still ain't did this. I'm one of them type of people that just buy stuff and then be having it. When do they expire? These old cookies. I gotta see when it expires. I don't know when it expired. They might have took the best before March 25th, 2022. Yeah, it's expired. It says best before. It doesn't say expires. I mean, it's a cookie. We can put it together and just not eat it. So I'm gonna keep it. <laughs> That's my reason for keeping it. Is it for Christmas? Yeah, I'll keep it. <clears throat> but yeah, y'all. So I ended up driving home. Um, I scheduled an appointment with another girl, another hairstylist. Um, her work looks really nice. Um, it looks like she, uh, I don't know, Laura's willing that this other girl I book with works out because I've never gone to her before. So hopefully it works out. But um, for the for my uncle's funeral, I'm going to go ahead and blow dry and flat arm my own hair which I need to start doing today because it, his funeral is tomorrow. So yeah, y'all, I just felt like that right there, you already knew what I was booking for. And then it's just disrespectful. You could at least cancel my appointment. That it, it's the disrespect. It'd be the principal for me. And then she texts me like at 11 o'clock. My appointment was at six. She texts me at 11 and was like, Hey, I'm just now seeing this message because I don't use this contact method anymore. Like, but you're still like, girl, girl. She was like, I'll just refund you your money, please, quickly. Um, but I didn't even like. Surprisingly, I didn't let that upset me. I just texted her back, okay, thank you, because you know when when you that calm, you know that's a wrap. Like, baby, you ain't gotta worry about me. You ain't gotta worry about me, baby. So I'm about to relax because I've been riding around all day, hanging with my sister. 
um we basically been shopping and stuff so i'm about to relax i already have our clothes prepared for the front row and yeah i'm gonna go ahead and relax for the rest of the day not the rest of the day but i'm about to relax for a few a few hours or so and then i'm gonna get up and start um getting us ready for the front row hey y'all so i am up for my nap and while um i feel like it i'm about to get my garment rack organized because i've literally just been placing random orders at different websites and different little websites that i like and then i also got a few things um that i brought back from storage <clears throat> so i'm gonna get it all organized right quick and um hang it up in my closet but first i need to set the mood right, let me show y'all i got these essential oils you know like these oil diffusers y'all ever get tired of just like putting lavender or like you know like the typical because i was gifted these this essential oil aromatherapy set for christmas like for my job last year the um company like passed out gift bags and they had these essential oils and i was like oh these are cute and they are cute but they're like the regular ones like the peppermint the lavender eucalyptus you know just the regular stuff and they smell okay but i was kind of tired of these i was like you know what let me see if the internet has anything more unique and i found this on amazon y'all you have to check it out um so there's the brand eternal essential oils and it comes it's like 15 dollars 15 16 dollars but i got to step into fall um yeah i for some kind of way my tripod broke i don't know how it broke but i'm gonna have to buy another one I think royalty broke it because I had it in the back seat. But anyway, I, I'm I'm holding the camera and doing this at the same time. But the Step Into Fall has different, of course, different. It's these are essential oils, and they can be used for candles. They can be used for if you want to use them for soaps. What does it say here? Room sprays, scented perfumes, hair, skin, oil diffusers. I am using them for oil diffusers. They smell so good. If you are that type of person that likes like masculine smells, you are definitely like bergamot, um, stuff like that. This is almond coconut milk. It smells so good, y'all. If you like um, sandalwood and stuff like this is fire amber. This one, out of all of them in the kit, this one is my favorite so yeah i bought these i've been, I've been using them at the house and i'm also going to start using them at my desk with that oil diffuser that i got from um oh this tobacco vanilla like i like tobacco lavender those type of smells y'all these things smell so good this one too this is one of my favorites sexy cinnamon clove i normally mix sexy cinnamon clove tobacco vanilla and amber uh fire amber so that's what i'm about to do i'm about to mix all three of those in my oil diffuser and then start getting my um my clothing rack my clothing rack over there organized so yeah let's get into it so i'm about to turn this on i made my concoction but surprisingly this actually makes the room feel warm like i don't know what it is but those that mixture of oils makes the room feel so warm y'all i found this photo of me when i was in new orleans one time i found this in storage i was like let me hang what is on the picture i was like let me hang this up in my house because i literally have no photos hanging up in this house i was like let me make this house a home this one is empty this one is empty, so I have to, like, find something to put into there. I want to do um, Christmas photos this year, y'all. But let's go ahead. That's, 
you know i want to do family photos but holiday photos for the christmas card but let's go ahead and um get into all of these clothes when i tell y'all like the majority of these clothes are new y'all these clothes are like brand new clothes that like i just bought and just like never wore boohoo i got this from storage like i i don't think i've ever I, I think this is like the one and only order that i've ordered from boohoo i'm not really into boohoo like that and then this i don't know where i got this from y'all i think nasty girl i got this out of storage too but um yeah y'all let's get into putting these clothes up so we can figure out <laughs> you know, the winter clothes situation. So, yeah. Okay, so now that that's done, I just have, like, some jackets that I typically wear. When did I get this last year? For, oh, from Pretty Little Thing? I don't know. It just doesn't look clean for some reason. It looks dusty. I might toss this and get another jacket. Hmm, something about that looks weird. But I want to put this bookshelf on my wall. I might have to go to Home Depot, y'all, because this bookshelf, um, I bought it from West Elm when I was in Georgia. Um, I don't know if y'all know that furniture store, but this is like a, a really, it's solid wood. It's really nice. I really like it. I think, And it was pretty, at the time, I think it was like $200, so... I don't know how much they'd be selling for something like this right now, but I want to put it on the wall, but I call myself packing my stuff up, but some kind of way, one of the screws is gone. And this is a pretty solid, this is a heavy piece. So I, I need the screw. So I'm going to have to go to Home Depot and get, let me see. Yeah, one right there. And I feel like there was another one somewhere. Oh, right here. Yeah, it takes another one right here. I'm gonna go to Home Depot, but I wanna hang it like right there. I feel like this would be a good place. I had to put my camera, where can I put my camera in there and show y'all? Hold on, let me see. Okay, y'all. bookshelf but that's what it is it is a bookshelf i thought it was real cute when i first seen it and it's like one of those pieces that just it's like a classic you know so yeah i'm going to um i might have to run to home depot i'm glad that i still have this one nail so that way i know what nail it takes but i'm gonna have to run to home depot and get another nail and i believe i'm gonna put it here it'll look good right here and kind of cover some wall space my last apartment when i was in georgia i painted the walls in there and so this looked really nice i painted the walls like a gray blue like a slate type of color and so um actually let me lay this down so it doesn't Cause it's heavy, it be done fell down and unplugged everything. Um, yeah, like a grayish, uh, it was a gray, grayish slate type of color. So uh, I'm not gonna paint these walls. I'm not sure how long I'm gonna be in this apartment, but I was kind of like, I was waiting till I got everything out of storage so I can see what all I have before I start buying new stuff. I know for sure I still need an area rug, y'all. 
Y'all see, you remember I was looking for an area rug? You see, I still need an area rug. Like, the place still needs to have an area rug. An end table right here because um, this right here is a bar stool that I bought from like Marshalls or something like that, I think. So, but I just had my, the lamp that I had sitting here for the time being, but I want a um, end table that has like this wooden top with the steel black bottom. And then I'll put the lamp post on it. And then on the other side of the room, I want like a C table with like a marble top and a gold finish or something like that. That's the vision that I'm getting. And then also like this wall over here, y'all is empty. Um, This y'all see this wall is empty so i want like some wall art but i want like some effort like i don't know like maybe some black artists i don't know and i'm thinking about getting a larger tv um because royalty has a tv in her room i don't have a tv in my room i haven't had a tv in my room for years so i don't really um watch tv in my room but if i catch like a 50 inch on a good deal for black friday i'll go ahead on and put the tv that's um i think that's a 40 inch it's not big at all i'll put that one that's in the living room into my bedroom and then put the 50 inch out here and might put it on the wall i don't know i just don't know how long i'm gonna be in this unit to be doing too much decorating but i do want for it to look pleasing like for company especially for like the holidays are coming up and then also when i'm vlogging like you know, y'all don't want to see somebody, you know, you know the vibes, you know the vibes, you know the vibes.